Okay, so um, my startup is called Hala. Uh, I, I hope you've heard of it. It's, it's definitely. I've been told it's Basic. very promising. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, but the thing about Hala is, uh, Hala is basically a platform that lets you get paid for your time. It's it's a platform that lets people uh, be able to video chat you. They ca- they pay to have a video chat with you. So let's say you know I'm sure your time is valuable. Totally. I also think my time is is kind of valuable. Mm-hmm. So every single person values their time. So why not get paid for that value? Hey guys, welcome back to the Kenyan Entrepreneur, your number one channel for matters entrepreneurship and lifestyle. I am David Watibini and today on the Young Entrepreneurs, we are privileged to be hosting another enterprising software developer. Yeah, to listen, but this is the age of the new normal. And the yeah. new normal ni tech. See? So yeah, we are privileged to be hosting um Patrice, let me not take center stage, watch an impartier, your fursa as you introduce. Yeah. yeah. Hey, what's up? My name is Patrice Andala. I'm a software developer, I'm also a recording artist, and I'm the founder and CEO of Hala. Nice. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for gracing um, uh, this occasion. Is it a location? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> D- definitely. Yeah. Is. It feels like one. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah, thank you so much for coming on such a short notice to our table, the Young mm-hmm. Entrepreneurs. Yeah. Um, we are just here to know um, about your journey as a young entrepreneur, as a young um, enterprising developer, um, co-founder at such a young age. So um, mind telling us all about that. But before that, you have mm-hmm. mentioned that you are a recording artist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Tell yes. us about that. Okay, uh, the thing is, I've always been like, I've always had this passion for music ever since I was, I was a kid. Mm-hmm. Like ever since high school, I remember like other kids, all, all, other kids would like go out for entertainment. They would go out for, for break and st- all that stuff. But what I would do is uh, my friends and I would just go behind the classes and we'd start practicing on how to rap. So I was always the emo, the emo rock, rock rap kind of guy. Nice. So uh, yeah, since then I've always wanted to be a recording artist. So mm-hmm. I've, I've recorded a few songs, you know, I've done some things here and there. Uh, you know, maybe guys can check it out. But yeah, I'm a, I'm a conscious rapper, basically. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Yeah. So, um, as uh, as even you just share about your story and your journey, um, as a founder and CEO of a startup tech company, mm-hmm. um, um, I'd like to ask if, um, since you are a recording artist, mm-hmm. was that a motivation to to just um yeah tell us your motivation why you you decided to go into the tech world because music and tech totally different i know they they do meet at some point yeah yeah. so yeah tell us about that the thing about um music especially the kenyan music scene is that uh first of all uh you need uh, music cannot be uh, cannot be the only thing that you're doing as you know, uh, the, the thing about me, which, it's, which is something that I'm very proud of, is that I have more than one passion. Yeah. So, you know, I can, I can be, at one moment, I can be totally passionate about music. I'm telling myself, hey, I'm going to be the next Kendrick, and I'm the next Jay-Z, and I'm the next Nini. And the next minute, I'm all tech. I'm thinking, eh, me, I'm in Silicon Valley, eh? I'm Bill Gates, I'm Zuckerberg, You can have more than one dream, and somehow would still make sense. So, and you know, you only have one life. So, you know, when you have this one life, you want to make sure that you're doing everything, you're living up to all of your potentials everything that you want to do you want to make sure that in this short span of like uh 40 50 years that you are alive that you can be able to just do everything that you want to do because it's a really short time so sure. yeah mm-hmm. so that's why i said you know what i'm going to live both of my dreams nice. and i'm going to make sure that i live them to the best possible potential so that's why i'm saying you know music nikondani tech nikondani Maybe later down the line, I might want to be, uh, you know, a basketball player, <laughs> as if. But yeah, if I want to do that, I'll make sure that I'm going to live that dream. Yeah, true. Yeah, I totally yeah. get it. Um, um, there's one um artist um and movie superstar I usually admire. Um, this guy, I when I act the bad guy called first uh, Hobbs and Shaw. Oh, Hobbs and Shaw. Nani, what's his name? Idris Elba. Idris Elba. That yeah. guy can rap, can DJ, can do everything. That guy is super, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 you know, the thing about like uh, what's out there, what's online is that 
you know nowadays you know knowledge is ubiquitous in the information age knowledge is ubiquitous right now if you go to the internet you can find information on how to be how to be a, as good a football player as messi the same internet you can learn how to be as good a chef as chef ramsay you know you can you can learn everything because yeah. all the information is on the internet so if you want to do all that stuff you can be you know you can you can live all of all of your dreams at a very cheap price thanks to this beautiful thing called the internet yeah yeah so even as i'm building a te- tech company i want to make to improve lives of people through the internet because that's where that's where we are that's where the future is true so you know yeah if you want to be like idris elba then <laughs> of course you can be yeah so yeah die empty literally <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> so yeah you've talked about um tech um mm-hmm. tell us more about your startup okay so um my startup is called hala uh I, I hope you've heard of it it's, it's definitely i've been told it's Basically. very promising yeah. so yeah <laughs> uh, but, but the thing about hala is uh hala is basically a platform that lets you get paid for your time it's it's a platform that lets people uh, be able to video chat you they ca- they pay to have a video chat with you so let's say you know i'm sure your time is valuable Total. i also think my time is is kind of valuable mm-hmm. so every single person values their time so why not get paid for that value you know so at, at hala someone someone uh, signs up if you you know you, are, you can be a doctor you can be a celebrity you can be a what you just sign up you set your price and then anyone who wants to get information from you I can simply call you and then they get to pay per minute so you set your price per minute and then someone gets to pay that price per minute and so hala is bri- is giving people the opportunity to meet someone with whom uh in the past uh, you know in order to meet let's say you're a celebrity right celebrities uh these guys get bombarded with attention everyone wants to talk to them kila mtu anataka like we anataka sijukse anini afan we anataka tu nini and so uh it's very easy if you have something to to say it's very easy for for a celebrity to 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 lose you among the crowd of unserious people so if you are if you have something serious that you want to tell a celebrity you know you have a good idea you have a serious prospect you, you can just use hala so hala lets you ha- get into contact to these people without necessarily having to go through a lot of bureaucracy having to go through cg middlemen and all that yeah. so that's what basically hala is it's making life easier for people out there awesome yeah. awesome nice up amazing idea the first time i heard about this idea i was like <laughs> <laughs> thank you <Jesus. laughs> so thank you. um it's an amazing app um so you guys make sure you go check it out um it's on the play store hala check it out pay time time is money exactly. pay for that time exactly yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that, that's what we do mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know we we just want what you just want to make sure that the world is connected and every single person gets paid for the amount of value that they've worked for like you know if you are doesn't matter who you are you know you you can be a mechanic you can be someone who's really who, who knows a lot about cars yeah. and there's someone there can be someone in in singapore who wants to know something from a mechanic from kenya they can just call you on hala they can just find you and they can have a video chat with you and they can get that expertise and at the end of the day you get your value they get their value everyone lives happy yeah. and that's what hala is about awesome 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 i'm um, yeah. just curious um what is your motivation behind this amazing app why why hala at My, this certain time of um a moment uh yeah, yeah okay the thing is okay uh, first of all the idea was okay the, the, i i, I I I I had the idea a while ago but thanks to covid you know the idea became really more of a necessity yeah. like it became something that this is, I, you know I thought this is something that we need we really need to have if I don't do this I'm sure there's someone who will and and this is something that needs to be done like people first of all uh, social distancing is a thing yeah and uh we still need to keep the economy open and if there's and what better way to keep the economy open than to let people deliver value while they are away from each other like, you know if you are uh, if you are someone who is used to working with people in the same room thanks to hala you can still you can still work with people you can still deliver value to people from the comfort of your home yeah. and you still get paid for your time yeah. you still get you still you are still able to to satisfy people while also staying alive living earning a living and so you know 
Hala is just meant to improve the lives of people and I hope and I sincerely hope that that's what we end up doing. Yeah. Um yeah. Totally I totally agree with that. Um so just um to ask do you think this is the next big thing? Uh oh, I I certainly hope so. Let I, it I, be on record <laughs> today. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, uh I I I sincerely hope so. I mm-hmm. I uh, you know th- you know you can call it the next big thing or you can be saying actually I w- I want to make a ton of money. I want to do this, I want to do this. But at the end of the day, the question is how m- how much value are you giving people? If it can help as many people as possible, then hopefully it will be the next big thing. Yeah. If you can help people without you know without hurting anyone in the process while doing the right thing you know being sincere with people and you know giving people what you tell them that you're going to give it to them and you can give it to as many people in the world as possible then i think it, it does deserve to be the next big thing so i hope that it will be the next big thing but that's for the people to decide it's not yeah sure. totally totally yeah yeah Hope you guys are watching this and comment down on the commenting section. Yeah, yeah. Tell us what you think about the app um, and holla at us. So, yeah. um, looking at you, you are young at face and at yeah, you are physically young. So, yeah. um, tell us how are you able to just um, maintain all this, um, balance both um, working at Hala as a co-founder and CEO, and you still have a social life, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm a when you also manga developers also a social life when you get um when I get in front of my laptop social, social life, life is cut. In yeah. So how do you just um how are you able to maintain all that and balance your social work um your social life and your work life? The thing is the people that I hang around with, mm-hmm. you know, uh th- th- these are people who have the same ambitions, the same goals as I am. So it's really easy. So even when we're working, it's like play. You know, I'm working with my friends. I'm uh, all day I'm talking to my friends. So your know, work becomes your social life. You know, uh, when I said I was part of a music group, I'm part of uh when I'm doing music, I'm part of this crew called Typhouti. Nice. These guys are my friends. Like these these are my boys, the people I, I would ride I would ride and die with. So you know, when I'm with them, we are we're talking business, but also cinema best. You know, we're playing to na to nongea upuzi, to na fire dini. But at the same time, you know, conversation just the conversation switches, and we start talking about serious stuff. We start talking about business, our ambition. You know, this is what we want to do. This is where we want to go. This is, we should get. And and the the thing about groups like they're they're sort of like wolf packs, where you sit down and you strategize. This is how we're going to hunt. This is how we're going to to make a kill. And so the work life and the social life, they all just they just mix perfectly. And I and uh, I would advise people who are watching to find friends who who have the same ambitions as where you want to go. You know, your friends make you. If you hang out with uh, f- with four ambitious people, you become the fifth one. Yeah. If you work with uh, f- four people who are not serious, you become the fifth one. So every person is their friend. So, you know, yeah so my work life is my social life there's no there's there's nothing in between i'm i'm not a different person at work and in my social life so yeah awesome so um diving in into your work life mm-hmm. um how do you just get your seat um at the big men's table because you are in the tech industry and the tech industry yeah. um is surrounded by guys who literally control it yeah. the guys in the, in the big suits yeah. and uh, all of those stuff Relax. yeah yeah so how d- how d- how did you get yourself into into that big men seat well uh yeah. first of all uh if you have something genuine to offer people will listen to you you know if you, if you go into a meeting thinking I, I i am a valuable person and what i have to say does matter and people people can read it through you yeah. they'll read it through you and they'll say this this well, um, to serious and that's that's how i got to working with someone like nonini you know uh, among a group of many people this guy gets bombarded with with uh, requests from everywhere but you know uh, the fact that he was able to believe in in the, in our projects it just shows that you know if you can believe in yourself then even the big guys will listen to you they listen to what you have to say so yeah awesome so tell us um about you and Nonini, working with Nonini. Mm-hmm. Nonini, Nonini, yeah. he's, he's kind of a, okay, uh, he's a business partner, but he's also a mentor figure. You know, he's someone who, 
you know, first of all, I used to think I was a hard working person until I met Nonini. I realized that I wasn't doing anything. I realized that I wasn't doing anything because this guy is a workhorse. This guy, and he's and he's serious. You know, he has him to work with Jok now. So he, he keeps you on your toes. He tells you, you know, he, he he tells you what's right and what's wrong in a in a respectful way. Mm-hmm. But he also, and he he also knows like. You know he doesn't he's, he's he doesn't play around like yes him to many on a chaser so you know i've learned a lot from him about the industry the music industry about the kenyan business industry about everything and so uh, he's someone that you know uh, getting to work with him has really improved my life in a in a great way and that's something that i'm very i'm very uh, grateful for nice one nice yeah. one. amazing stuff big ups to ronini yeah um, thank yeah. you for the amazing work you have done right here thank you thank you thank <laughs> you so much so yeah um i'm sure you have been also bombarded with lots of requests from investors i'm just wanting um a seat at your table um mm-hmm. because totally yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like yeah, <laughs> so yeah um tell us about that how um are you able to just pick who is right for your team uh the thing is uh a person who who comes in to invest uh that person should have a com- something complementary to offer you know i can't just bring in someone who is exactly like me yeah. they need to to be doing something that s- something different and so that each of us can bring our own unique skill set to the table you know it's not just about money i mean money is good everyone likes money but at the end of the day it should be smart money it's not just you know ni meleta pesa ndio pesa therefore you know ndio una slide ndani eh ndio shika pesa alafu sasa acha ningojea sasa pesa zingine it has to be first of all you, you know when you bring your money to the table you also bring your expertise you're bringing your you're bringing your connections you're bringing everything I've, i've had i've had offers from a few investors but you know the the ones whom i've been dealing with mm, You know, so sometimes it's hard to find that synergy sometimes you know uh, someone can offer you a lot of money you yeah. know, uh, there was one case where i was offered quite a bit and then uh, you know the person was like you know i want to take control of this company i want to you know where, where you're still young where but how now you experience a lead and so i was like uh, see me I, i i i am confident in the kind of person i am I know what I bring to the table so uh, respectfully the, this can't, this can't this can't work. <laughs> But yeah, we we're, we're still speaking to different investors, we're still, you know, we're still trying to find that right synergy. But, but that's something that I'm sure will come. You know, it's just a matter of being patient and keeping st- still delivering value. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, that's it. Yeah, as a tech um developer, as a software developer myself, mm-hmm. um I would like to really know if I have this amazing idea, how do I just make my idea appealing to investors because of course every um it's a dream to every inv- um tech developer or software developer to just have yeah. his or her idea um um invested in. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So for your case, how have you been able to make yourself appealing to investors? uh well the the thing that the investors want to know most is how valuable is your product and okay they want to know two things how valuable is your product and uh, what kind of person are you mm-hmm. because you can have a great idea but then you are you are a careless person mm-hmm. you can have you know you can have a bad idea but then you have a good personality that still doesn't work mm-hmm. that still doesn't work and so mm-hmm. uh okay the thing about investment is uh when you walk into a room room with investment first of all you have to to show them this is what i can bring to the table yeah. you know and they have to see it they have to see it in you they have to see that this this is someone who not only has a plan of where he wants to go because that's something that i've had a long time where what's your business plan what or what do you plan how do you plan to get on from point a to point b yeah certainly uh, not to person and then unaanza to guess what to do with it if you're asking for money know exactly what you're going to do with that money know exactly how you're going to give them a return on the investment mm-hmm. so yeah uh, investors okay in simple terms an investor wants to know if i give you my money will i get will it I back, get it, will it back yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. so you know if you can convince them that this not only will you get it back but this is the roadmap of how you're going to get it back mm-hmm. then 
any smart investor atasema sa ndio ishika pesa because they especially uh, if, you, if it's a venture capitalist those guys they make a living from giving their money giving away their money to smart people to so that they can you know increase their returns so you know if you are a smart guy then they'll in fact they'll, they'll even beg you to take their money yeah you should keep pesa yangu bana wewe unajua unanileta pesa you are a cash cow you keep pesa so yeah if you can show them that uh this is how I'll bring you your money back then any good investor will have you awesome awesome yeah. so did you have to learn all this by yourself or you surrounded yourself with people who brought um um several like ex- expertise to your table for example you've talked about business plans um mm-hmm. totally i don't know i don't know how to write a business plan <laughs> yeah. so um did you have to learn all this by yourself and then make the approach to them or you surrounded yourself um with people who have that expertise uh well the thing is okay mm-hmm. yeah oh, i i think both are true there are parts of it which which i i, I learned mm-hmm. from the internet I, i read a lot of books so you know i read a lot of business books so i i picked up a few things but then i, al- I also have this friend his name is Ted this guy is a this guy is a marketing and a business genius this guy can tell you everything that's right and wrong in your company just by you know just by looking at at how you are conducting yourself so and this is the person whom i brought in as a co-founder because i knew that this guy has that business savvy so that, that's the person that i brought into the table but then uh, i also uh, in during my spare time i also do my own research yeah. so that i can make sure that every single decision i make is the right decision every single thing that i tell an investor is is the right thing to say you yeah. know things that every how i conduct myself i'm hoping that that's the right way and i'm always trying to learn from the get go i'm always learning and that's something which i always tell my my younger friends mm-hmm. always be learning okay uh, people make fun of of school what i'm saying yeah surely i nifunzangi kitu but then they they need to remember that okay well, fine ka ka how learn kitu shule but you have to know uh, this is a place where you went to learn stuff okay if you're not getting that knowledge from school then make sure that you're getting that knowledge at least from somewhere else yeah and that's where the internet comes in mm-hmm. knowledge like, like there's all sorts of knowledge in there how to run a business how to do fire nini nini mm-hmm. nini so uh make sure that you get that knowledge from somewhere mm-hmm. if not from school from books if not from books from the internet if not from the internet from a mentor mm-hmm. make sure that you have that knowledge so that's what i did uh, you know, both learning and surrounding myself with you know some really smart people awesome yeah nice you've talked about um a co-founder um so i'm guessing there is uh, um another team that you you also work with so um talk uh, tell us about your team the people you have surrounded yourself with mm. and are making hala be what it is right now okay uh first of all my co-founder his, his name is Ted uh he's someone that we grew up with i've known him since i was like 12 tukao tucheza pamoja tukiwa watoto tukicheza ps stuff but then you know as we grew up you know he went and he did law and and business and i you know i went and did my own coding thing you know, which is another which, is, which was an, 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 another adventure entirely and so when we came back uh we were all you know he he came back with his knowledge you know his experiences mm-hmm. and they came back with mine and it it was it was a match made in heaven you know yes. i was the developer i'm the i'm the innovator he's the levitator you know? <laughs> it's like uh, yeah. some doctor dressed yeah but yeah uh, he's the guy who uh, he he always gives me uh, an honest an honest take mm-hmm. like even when he knows i won't like to hear it he mm-hmm. makes sure that he's told me what he thinks is right and that's and that's something that i really needed in a business partner in a co-founder and i'm i'm proud to have him as a co-founder i'm sure if this guy is he's going places and we're going to go there with him nice. so yeah and then uh then there's uh there's nonini there's bernard you know those are the other people whom are working with in this biz uh you know these guys have experience they they've taught us so much mm-hmm. and we always take their advice we uh, at kwangi wa juaji tuna, mm-hmm. yeah tunaskiza mm-hmm. we come up to, we come to an agreement and then we decide yeah this is the right way so you know the fact that these people uh, their skills are complementary you know we're not we're not neither of us are the same people each of us have our own different backgrounds each of us are doing have been doing different things so when we come together we are, we are not letter skills yake we, we are letter and no one tells the other how they should do their thing mm-hmm. I want to go to Nonini and Mwambie this is how you should you should market our product. Mm. Yeah, I can't go to Ted and tell them uh, tell him 
yo, this is how you should do biz dev. Like Z, he studied it his entire life. That's his emo. That that's what that's why he's here. And I'm not an expert at that. Mm-hmm. I can't be an expert at everything. So you yeah. know, just bring in people who complement your skills, and I'm sure. Uh, yeah, all will be good. All will be well, nice yeah, one. Nice yeah. one. Um, another quote I usually say it in almost all of the interviews I do. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, Elon Musk is a guy I really um, um, look up to, mm-hmm. and when he was starting SpaceX and Tesla, he used to literally sit down and hire his own employees because yeah. he knew what he wanted. Yeah. yeah. So he surrounded himself with people who offered um, what he didn't have as a person. Yeah. So and it's very important, and you are literally doing that. And I can literally, you can literally say that um, you attribute your success as Hala um, to the people that you have surrounded yourself to. Yeah, yeah that's awesome. true. Yeah, talking about that. So um, tell us your future um, 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 at Hala. <laughs> uh, the future at Hala. Mm. Uh, uh, the thing about Hala is, uh, okay, at least what I hope is that by the end of the day we'll we'll have people of all professions at hala if you're a doctor people can come in and start consulting you from there you know there's no need to go and and wait for for bars at a waiting room nice you know Mm -hmm. if 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 i'm if i have a certain condition and Mm -hmm. maybe uh, the specialist for that condition is not here in kenya my hope is that in the future that you know you can call a specialist you can video chat a specialist from somewhere uh, from a different region of the world and you can contact them and you can get the right ad- medical advice mm-hmm. and you know the better you are at hala the better you are, you'll be ranked so you know we, we we are going to make sure that only those people who offer the highest amount of value are the ones who are made most visible to users to guys. Mm-hmm. yeah so you know we envision having you know plenty of doctors there we envision people are uh, having legal consultations at hala we envision uh, a friend of mine uh, told me that you know I was talking to her about uh, the potential for Hala, and I and I, and I was bragging. I was like, oh, "We're going to have celebrities here," and she told me, uh, "I want to see Michelle Obama at Hala," and I told her, "You know what? Uh, the next few years, she's definitely coming to Hala," mm-hmm. and I made that promise. Mm-hmm. So yeah, uh, you know, uh, I don't know if that's ever going to happen, but sure. it is my hope that we get to that point yeah. that mm-hmm. every any single person can use Hala. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people want to talk to the president. Yeah. So if the president was at Hala, you know, anyone can just talk to the president, mm-hmm. and you can get uh, you can get his time. Mm-hmm. And the, the good thing about Hala is you set your own price. Yeah. There, there's no there's no uh, upper limit. If you think that your time is worth a thousand dollars per minute, you go to Hala and you set your price. Set, yeah. And if someone is serious enough and wants to talk to you, they will. They will find uh, because uh, they they no longer need to have middlemen. They no longer have to have people around them. You know, uh, uh, pushing uh, perspective, uh, pushing uh, people uh, who are trying to to tell them something serious. So every single person can have a Hala account. Any single person can set their price. You know what the value of your time is, so you set it. So it is my vision that literally everyone in the world will have hala yeah. and and soon uh, it is my hope that it it will become the default mode of communication because every single person's time is valuable Total. so that's what that's what the future should look like boom you guys have yeah. had it yeah. first are the young entrepreneurs yeah. so i totally believe literally um, thank you um that this is the future of communication thank you because as you've just said time is money yeah and guys you literally want to to equate um, their time to uh, a certain amount. So if you yeah. can literally guarantee that to somebody, yeah, yeah, people will automatically yeah. jump into no, no, that. No, mm-hmm. no, no one's going mm-hmm. to want their time wasted anymore. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, you can just say, hey, um, if you want to contact me, contact me on Hala. So that when you're contacting me, you, you're, you're saying something serious. Yeah. I only contact through Naku. Yes, uh, it totally separates them, um, the mediocre and the serious people. Exactly. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So, mind telling us about um, the history of Hala. How it began. Yeah, and how everything. you began and where you are right now. 
Uh, okay. Uh, okay. First of all, uh, during, uh, we launched. Okay, the idea for Harla was 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 constructed somewhere around March uh, this year, 2020. Uh, okay. First of all, I had been working on a on a music app. You know, I'm a rec- as I said, I'm a recording artist, and so uh, I was working on a music app that will help me sell my music. And so uh, this friend of mine, I uh, was running a company called TurnUp. And so you know, we were talking about the app, and then uh, he told me, "Hey, I know Nonini. Uh, this guy, he's a you know, he's a stand-up guy. You know, you should talk to him. He he seems like he'd be interested." And so you know. I wasn't sure that he'd take me seriously. So I was just shooting my shot in the dark. I was just, okay, I tried to Jaribu. And so I tried, I tried to contact him several times, actually. And uh, until finally, he was, he, after he saw the app, he was like, yeah, okay, this is, this, this is something legit. Let me, let me work on this thing with, with this guy. Mm-hmm. But during the time when I was trying to chat with him, mm-hmm. you know, uh, I was thinking to myself, if only there was a way in which I could contact like any celebrity. And and they'd be able to to take me seriously, mm-hmm. because I, I was sure that this guy gets uh, DM'd all the time. Yeah, these people on a Patanga texts Azote, everyone wants to talk to them. Mm-hmm. You know? and so <clears throat> I th- I, uh, I began uh, visualizing this project while I was working on Turn Up Music. Yeah. So uh, and uh, before long, I started working on Hala. So uh, what would happen is I would I would write the code for Turn Up Music during the day. And then uh, at night I would work on Hala, mm-hmm. so I would uh, I would set my time. I would say uh, during the day from eight to five p.m. I'll be working on turn up music. Then from uh, around eight p.m. to five a.m. I'll be working on Hala, mm-hmm. and that was my that was my routine for for like a month or so. And you know the thing about Hala is you're supposed to call people like from you're supposed to to be calling. You know it's about calling from one phone to another, and I didn't have another phone. Yeah. So I would wait until my my siblings were asleep, and then I would go and take their phones, and <laughs> then use it to test the app. So uh, Hala was built at night, <laughs> and so you know it took yeah. se- several months. It took several months until you know things started really picking up. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. within the third month, and then that's when we launched. Then later on, you know, after talking to a few investors, you know, uh, then I talk. I spoke with Nonini, and uh, I I remember I called him. It was around midnight. Mm-hmm. I called him and I told him, hey, I have this idea. Uh, he was tired. Like, akua, uh, I was tired at that time. Midnight. And I, I yeah, because <laughs> it was midnight. Yeah. No, no one calls anyone at midnight. I mean, why? Even <laughs> my, my mom and Yambianga would say call him too after past 7 p.m. Oh. It's, it's not nice. Yeah. But Roger, at that time, I was excited. I was excited. I was excited. So I called him at around midnight. Alikuwa amechoka mara kwanza. But then, you know, after explaining the idea, he was like, it's brilliant. Tufanyi. Mm-hmm. And before long, Adia alikuwa ameshaanza kusema ideas zake. Mm-hmm. And that was one of the best moments in my life because I was like, ka huyu amesema ni kali. Then ni kali. By the uh, Yeah, cuz uh, yeah, cuz cuz watu wanapatiwanga, wanapichiwanga vitu mingi za zote. And uh, no, no, not every time. Uh, that, that it's not every day that una pitchia to mtu na anasema yes at yeah. immediately. Most people are saying, "Eh, hey, to ona alafu ndo aku aku ache muende like mm. yeah." No, so that the idea dies down with some just to be polite. Yeah. But yeah, I'll say my yeah, I'm in. That very first phone call, I'll say my yeah, I'm in to find this, this stuff. Mm-hmm. And we never looked back ever since. Like to learn that kufanya to your stuff. Mm. And so it was. Uh, as soon as we started working on the project, everyone started contributing. Mm. You know, of course, really, we had we had negotiations and stuff, but you know, after that, it was just kazi. And every every single person is passionate about the project. You know, when I see him speaking at interviews, he's he's really passionate about the project, and that's that's what I really wanted. Like to be passionate about this project. Yeah. I uh, the thing the thing is, you know, ever since I was in campus, uh, I I'd always wanted to build. Uh, an app like I, I'd always wanted to 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 become the CEO of of a company. A company yeah. So you know, d- during the times when you know other people were studying, I, I was always the, the the dumb guy who couldn't finish his own assignments. <laughs> Mainly go home to when yeah, you go class or something okay. like uh, yeah, because you know what I was doing is I was I was at I was at home learning how to code. You know, I was trying to get the degree, but at the same time, I'm trying to build my dream. Mm-hmm. And so uh, I had to make some sacrifices. Yeah. And so the, at the point where I was calling him and he was saying yes, 
th- that was the point when I felt that the sacrifices that I took back in campus, that was the time when they, they had started paying, paying off. off. Yeah. yeah. Yo 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 time yote ya ya kuna kati na kuje mpata 4 out of 30 like jo kwa class like hizo zote kwa look down on you time exam kuna mtu anataka karibu na because we see asset when you any liability so yeah because of the sacrifices that you are taking yeah so yeah at that moment i felt the he sacrifices same here it 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 started paying off mm-hmm. i'm st- i'm now starting to see the fruits of my labor yeah and uh w- and also the people who supported me throughout you know my, my family my friends uh you know uh, uh though i i feel like you know i felt like uh, i might finally be able to give them back uh, all what? the support they, that they gave me awesome. you know? Total. Uh, Total. yeah awesome so so that's more that or less your history at hala yeah that's the history amazing and still more to come there's Hopefully. still a lot of blank pages that are yet to be filled yeah and i think it's it's quite a journey it is yeah and hope guys at home um or guys watching this are getting motivated and inspired to just pursue their dreams because you've talked about dying empty literally you are recording artists you are student you 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 are you yet to graduate but you are on that way yeah um you are co-founder and ceo yeah. a developer jeez yeah so um pursue yeah. your dreams to the end and um just before we even come to a close you've talked about turn up music mm-hmm. i'd like to know more about that Mm-hmm. Okay, uh Turn Up Music. Turn Up Music uh was started uh, like I said I'm a recording artist. So Turn Up Music was started as a way to to uh, to earn money from the music because uh that's something, you know. Well, well, if if you are a Kenyan mm-hmm. and you're an uh, and you want you tell people I want to be an artist. People look at you like uh, umbona obo, o, o, o. <laughs> like, like, soul. <laughs> yeah, like it's very hard for a Kenyan artist mm-hmm. to to, to mm-hmm. make money like yeah. unless you are you're Saudi soul. Mm. Uh, like it's really hard so you know as i started uh, you know i've done a few songs and so i've put them on online but then i realized that i wasn't earning anything from them so i wanted to to create my own way of monetizing because you know the, most of the other platforms that were there yeah people people still earn but you only earn if you are in the top if in the top tier of musicians if yeah. you're an upcoming underground artist you're not getting anything you need sure, to have sure. a side hustle mm-hmm. so that's why i created an up music it's a way for streaming music in a way where the artist gets majority of the of the streaming money because most of these services sometimes you find that an artist is getting 50 percent i'm at 25 percent my artists are getting screwed out there so i thought let me create a platform that is just for the artist you know so that you can just worry about the art and not the business mm-hmm. because music is about you know when i first started music i thought it's about the art it's about how good you are yeah. but then i realized there is a business mm. behind it you have mm. to pay your bills yeah. there are people you know it's it's why a lot of people are complaining that uh, most of the songs aren't good that the people who have made it are not really good but that those are the people who are good at, at the business even though they might not be a go- as good at the art but they're good at the business of music awesome awesome amazing app right there turn up music if you awesome. haven't checked it out make sure you go check it out it's very important and very vital that we support um the music industry because these guys need to pay their off their bills so um if you've not checked it out make sure you go check it out um i mean this guy wow i don't i i, I literally like the words <laughs> innovative uh, is an understatement to you, <laughs> <Thank> you. <laughs> because you have surpassed um you've exceeded literally um my expectations uh, when i was just planning for this interview um my expectations have been exceeded so yeah up after up i've, I've, I've as i have just said it was so good. up after up as i have just said so yeah um I lit, I run a program called Tech Meets Music and I would really like to know your your opinion on what you think is the future of the music industry. The future of the music industry uh is something that will benefit the the musicians. If you can build something that is for the benefit of the artist, 
then you you have just you've literally saved the music industry because uh no one wants to join the music industry if they don't feel like they have something valuable to jo- to join i'm sure most most young guys in their lifetime have thought about <laughs> being a music artist yeah. but then you know when they think about the downside they start thinking oh it's not worth it so if you can just create something that truly benefits the artist something that the artist will feel uh is a way for them to earn a living through the art hapo hakuna mtu anaweza mwambia ati ati no don't be an artist people uh, people will, will be growing up telling their parents i want to be an artist i want to be a musician and their parents will be like yeah eh yeah, shika let me buy you a mic let me buy you a, ca- a camera let me you know it will be a real a real career for for those artists and that's something that i hope that that would happen and so and, and if there's any industry that will save the music industry it's the tech industry the music has to meet tech it yes. has to yeah so you know i'm i'm hoping that we'll get to that point mm-hmm. amazing yeah. amazing good stuff thank you so much and we will yeah good stuff cut that point yeah thank you. good stuff good stuff good stuff thank you so much for coming to our table mm-hmm. um so um for guys out there who are aspiring to become um developers um co-founders of a tech startup or co-founders of any business doesn't necessarily have to be a startup um or artists who are out there and um are recording artists what advice would you have for for guys out there because you have tested the waters you know that the waters are murky yeah. so what advice do you have for people out there uh my advice to people would be never stop learning always be be curious be like a child be curious for knowledge always the more you know about the world the less mistakes you are you are you are you are likely to make you know uh, you know if someone so someone who knows about gravity is less likely to jump off a cliff thinking that they'll fly mm. so if you know about the industries that you're going into and you learn from and you've learned it you've studied it the less likely you are to make mistakes so keep learning be curious number two, uh there's no substitute for hard work uh, uh Elon Musk uh, always said uh, you know they can be stronger than you they can have more resources than you they can be smarter than you but they shouldn't work harder than you yeah so work hard uh be curious for knowledge be brave you know if you're an artist uh, you can't be shy you know, be brave mm-hmm. you know when you when you when you're going to that stage or if you are if you're a developer or an innovator and you're going to that boardroom be brave stand there and say i have something valuable to offer and i'm sure you'll make it mm-hmm. uh, yeah and i'm sure you know we're all going to work and and i know we'll meet each other uh That's when the day comes <laughs> yeah true totally totally thank you so much so for guys out there who are aspiring um to do business and just um test the murky waters you have had it fast yeah right here so yeah don't be afraid jump in all in with all your confidence right yeah awesome thank you so much thank you so much so um how can we find you how can we holla at ya well <laughs> uh, you just said it <laughs> find me on holla yeah you, know, you can call me anytime on holla we can have a video chat we can talk about business we can talk about tech we can talk about the music industry if you want me to connect you with someone you can call me to that platform uh yeah you can also find me on the on our instagram page which is hala up you know you can find us even our facebook page is hala up and uh, you know hit me up send me a dm if you have any suggestions if you have any questions you know hit me up let let's talk i'm open to anything awesome awesome for guys who yeah. have the app already mm-hmm. um what is your username my username is patrice andala patrice, patrice andala. andala yeah awesome so patrice andala atala make sure you go yeah. reach out mm-hmm. talk to him um he has great advice for you guys so make sure you reach out to him yeah, yeah. and let's support kenyan based um apps yeah <laughs> africa is the future totally. let's support our own yeah. yeah amazing amazing thank you so much um amazing i'm really honored and really grateful um to have met you i thank literally you. didn't know you but i hope to keep the conversation going um even after this sit down we will yeah. definitely amazing
Thanks so much. Yeah. So good. Yeah. So amazing, guys. Um, you have had it first. Um, from Patrice Andala, CEO and co-founder at Hala. Hala. Yeah. Make sure you go check it out and comment yeah. on our comment section. Yeah. Tell us what you think about the app, and yeah, all shall be well. Yeah. This has yeah. been the Young Entrepreneurs, your number one channel for matters entrepreneurship and lifestyle. How's your host, David Watabin? Thank you. See you next week. Yeah. <laughs>